I contracted polio in 1952 when I was nine months old. I've never let my disability get in the way of anything, especially athletics. Wheelchair sports was a liberator, and when I had the opportunity, I really seized the moment. You can't do it in baby steps. You gotta take giant leaps. So when I was challenged to do the Boston Marathon, it didn't matter to me how far it was. It was a challenge that I gladly accepted. For me, it was a huge breakthrough race. You know, it was my fastest marathon by 10 minutes. And for Bobby, it was the same thing. He redefined what it means, you know, when you think of someone in a wheelchair. I was told in 1975 that I couldn't be given a number. There's absolutely no recognition if you're not official. You're not timed by the official timers. You're not at an award ceremony. And it's really treating a person like a second-class citizen. I was perhaps just part of that, separate but equal but different. There have been so many positive changes that has put Boston at the forefront for those with disabilities. After Boston, as Bill Rogers has said, there's only heaven. And I agree, it stays with you forever.